So my name is Steve. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to name for Hi, my name is Steve. I'm a fellow parent. We're trying to make this an idle free school zone for the health and safety of our children. We're asking all the parents that they can make a promise or a pledge not to idle within 50 feet of the school and of kids that are playing. We have a lot of kids in class at the school. Is this something you could help us out with? Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. We'll take a look at this. <laughs> and if you notice on the bottom of the card, it says pass it on. Please reuse and recycle this card and pass it on to a friend, a neighbor, or a coworker. So we want to use the whole uh, networking component to be able to spread the message because you have your own circle of friends, neighbors, and coworkers. For me, to approach them would be confrontational, but because you have that relationship with that individual, you're able to reach them and ask them uh, to make a change of habits. So this is basically a summary of what we do and some samples of some materials. There's a kit in the back, which you can look at at break time as well, show you what we're, we're providing the schools. Um, oh, just got to change around. Some sample banners. Uh, we basically provide a number of different marketing materials. So the schools have a very simple way to, to launch a, an anti-idling campaign. Uh, they don't have the marketing expertise or know-how how to do it. So we want to make it as simple as possible for them to get up and running. Don't be a Canadian Idol. Uh, when in part, turn off the sparks. So we're trying to create a catchy you know, theme to it. The message is not, don't do it for the environment. Don't do it for the bylaw. Do it for the kids. And parents can understand that even though indirectly we're doing it for the environment. Uh, and the contents of the, of the campaign kits, uh, as you can see in the back. So the outreach uh, campaign card is, we ask people to take two cards, make the promise yourself. Without a promise or a pledge, uh, you know, you're not gonna make a change. Passive marketing does not work when you're trying to change people's habits. You have to get a commitment, and then also if you ask other people to do it, you're, you're uh, solidifying your, 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 your uh, your, your reach. This is an example of a London student who took one card and got 50 signatures from his neighbors and, and uh, teachers to who all signed a pledge and, and he asked me, was this what I was supposed to do? And said, no, but this is good. <laughs> so he sent a picture uh, to show what he did. So outreach does work. So our goal is to provide, make it, make it as simple as possible and provide free kits to the schools and uh, to give people an excuse to do something that's that's very uncomfortable to do, to talk to somebody and ask them to turn off their engine. By doing it for the kids, it's not confrontational and it's very easy. And as you can tell, I'm going to be going doing a 10, 15 minute presentation in five minutes until he, he stands up. <laughs> uh, each kit is reusable. So we tell them the schools, use it for a month, pack it up and use and pass it on to another school, coaching them how to do it and on what you've lesson, uh, lessons learned. So this can reach each school in the London community. Uh, so create a buzz at school and get people to make commitments. Why it's needed, schools don't have the marketing and expertise and resources to do this, um, and, and, but the eco clubs at the schools do want to do it. And parents have concerns, but they're too concerned, too, uh, it's, it's uncomfortable to go to somebody and ask them to turn off their engines. So this is an excuse to do it. In other words, data provides the materials, but we don't have the manpower to go to school to school. Schools have the manpower to schools, but they don't have the resources. So this is a really good marriage uh, where we can provide those resources to them. How do we do it? One minute summary is going to be, uh, we, we, the message is do it for the kids. You need a powerful motivator. It's either money if the kid, if parents don't like their kids, or it's the kids, which in most cases, uh, you know, parents love their kids, and that's the reason. It's not for the bylaw. It's not for those up walls. Uh, we use community-based social marketing, which is a technique uh, where you want to create a social norm, and if enough people are doing this, then everybody else will follow suit. So our goal is to, to do that. Uh, the campaign kits provide all the materials they need to run a campaign. And, uh, and we're going to be providing these kits uh, through the program. Uh, school bus idling is our number one concern. And the indoor contaminants inside a bus is five times that is outside the bus. And I just passed the research report with John Howard on that. Uh, yet we see the kids in there for, for a period of time. So we want to uh, give them 10 cards that they promise not to idle their school buses around their kids. All our resources are freely downloadable from our website, so we want to engage people to, to, to do this in their, their communities. Uh, we want to get uh, publicity on this program. This is what we got last month with front page coverage. We support uh, effective bylaws, and uh, the one minute bylaw in Burlington is a good one to duplicate. Uh, we're working with different cities. City of Cambridge has been phenomenally helpful on this. 
uh, City of London has offered to have their file officers attend our campaigns in the London area, just so you know. So I've already led the foundation. Uh, after program completes, this is what they get to keep. These will be permanent reminders uh, to the parents that, you know, the reason why. And we formed different alliances, uh, medical community, because that's their expertise, and the environmental groups as well, well as local environmental groups like TREE, who we're partnered with in London to be able to get the message out. Uh, TREE has a wealth of experience in the idle free uh, community, and also with Safe Routes to School and Alliance. Safe Routes to School is on a data's board of directors, just as an FYI. So we partnered with them on, on Walk to School. So this is what we're providing as a summary. Uh, we're going to collaborate with different partners, provide a training for working with data with uh, TREE for the local area, My Sustainable Canada. We'll be doing uh, research, uh, uh, the, the uh, gauging before and after effects at school on how successful the programs have been. And basically, this is the last slide. This is my contact information, one more information, and a summary of how we fit into the LCF uh, priorities. Thanks for giving me a break. <laughs>
one quick thing. So you, when you give me my Tim Hortons coupon, do I have to pledge not to idle in the Tim's drive when I use yeah. my Tim's yeah. 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 My question is uh, the dad's angle. Yeah. Um, I do most of the pickup in my family at, at public school, and if I trade off, I trade off with grandmothers. Right. And there's all kinds of grandparents picking their kids up, and I find my experience has been they're the most difficult to communicate about any rules that we have in our school safety council. What, what's been your experience? Yeah, they figure, and I say God bless them for picking up my kid, but they won't follow a lot of them. So how have you tackled the generations? Is there any difference that you see? It's, it's changed. There's a lot of myths. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, that's like, well, our, my dad, I can probably hear, half our dads told us to make sure you warm up your car before you drive it. In the olden days with carburetor, that was true. But today, it's in the fuel injected engines, it's not, you don't need it. You can just start and go, that's the way to warm up is by driving it. So there's a lot of myths that need to be handled. Um, and that's part of uh, the messaging uh, that we need to get across to people. And yes, they, I feel your pain. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it on each other. We've got a lot to do. This is just a start. And if anybody has any success stories on better ways we can improve it, we're, we're constantly involving this and making things better. So that's the way we, we evolve. We're just parents who are concerned about this, want to do something about it. Thank you, Thank you very much.